Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. So, okay, I, I figured I'll just do a, a quick little video here for my original channel because, like I said before, I want to be more frequent with these videos, of course, on this channel. So, okay, I will post a link down below for Air Force YouTube channel, along with my own, of course. So, alright, let's just get straight to the damn point, I guess, because I'm just talking about some horse shit as usual. Oh boy, I'll be talking about this one jackass over here again. Yes, oh boy, this guy again. Because he sure loves to talk about the gay people quite a lot. But well, somebody that's really homophobic, you sure love to bring up the gay people quite often. Well, in this case, to be more specific, he claims that gay marriage would destroy society. I don't know how that exactly happens, but okay. Anyway, but of course, He's definitely related to Ted Cruz because he's the father, by the way. But anyway, he just he just did his little rant here and just continued to say that how the homosexuals are somehow the most evil people in the world. Again, I don't know how, but okay. He just went on this tyrant where he's complaining about that it's, it's a warning that an additional liberal justice on the high court would destroy this, all of society because these, they seem to be more lenient on the LGBT plus community. As he said that one more justice like that, he stated that one of the four justices appointed by President Clinton, I guess, and Obama at the time, and we will lose our right to keep and bear arms. So you're telling me that if gay people get uh, are married, somehow that translates to your weapons would be destroyed, like your guns and all that, and your right to self defense would be destroyed somehow. The right to bear arms. How? What's the connection here? I, I don't get it. But anyway, he continues that we will lose over religious freedom. But again. What does that even mean? How does, what's the connection here exactly? This is a logical fallacy because he's trying to make the outside seem much worse than what they really are. He's just trying to attach a bad thing to the LGBT plus community because somehow they're all icky. It just seems like really middle school stuff. It's like a middle school kind of thing. How old is this fuck? Jesus Christ. Anyway, he goes on to say that, yeah, they, people will see abortion on demand to the day of delivery. Again, that's not how that works. You can't just kill a baby the moment a child is born. That's not how that works at all. That's, no, you can't do that. You can't kill the baby the moment it's delivered, but okay. So how is supporting gay marriage equal to that anyway? I mean, of course, that's never explained it whatsoever, but anyway, moving over, he says that people will see that destruction of traditional marriage. Again, that's a flat out lie again, because the LGBT people, I guess just gay men in this case, I don't know, whatever. They don't want to destroy traditional marriage. Straight people are allowed to get married. It's not some like exchange program kind of thing, but if one thing gets done, but the other, like one thing is allowed, then the other thing is dismissed. And if the other thing that was dismissed gets allowed, then the other thing gets this wouldn't be allowed anymore. It's not like trading or anything like that. Like, what are you talking about? Anyway, so on the on the on the family is the foundation of society, which is a lie because it really isn't. If that family is destroyed, society will crumble again. Lying again. So how does it even again? How is any of this connected exactly? How does anything here is connected? I have no idea. And so there's gonna be so there's gonna be like massive amount of destruction in specific areas of society because I don't know, gay people are up to something somehow. I know you should draw a, a connection how society's changing. Like I was saying a moment, he's an old bastard. So anyway, yes, of course the Supreme Court allowed in favor for marriage for marriage equality, of course, which obviously a lot of these conservatives would just complain about, oh no, traditional marriage is gone, traditional is gone, traditional marriage is gone, yada, yada, yada. Again, 
how does that even mean that? How does disamer mean to generous marriage is gone? I don't know. How does that equal to that exactly? I have no idea. So yes, quite clearly the LGBT community don't want to destroy anything. If it, if they are going to destroy anything, it's bigotry. If anything, it's, it's that. They want to destroy bigotry, but not the other things that's been mentioned here. So all this is just fear arguing. It's just fear arguing to the to these when it comes to these kinds of people. Oh no, these people are different and whatnot. Oh no, you realize that gay people have been around before he was even born? Yes, you know what I mean? P gay people have been around before he was even born. When his grandparents were around. They existed back then too. Or even further back. It's just that these individuals like him are trying to really suppress gay history. Gay history has a history. Gay history has been around for much much longer and of course he's acting as if that this is somehow a brand new thing it's come out literally out of nowhere so it just seems odd that he just jumped to the conclusion thinking that somehow something bad at some point will happen for some reason i don't know i know he's really trying to pinpoint that gay people will do this and that as a result of the marriage equality how does it even happen i don't know it's equality. It's not one more than the other. That's another thing I never understood when it comes to these individuals. They assume that gay people are going to get more rights, even though the rights are supposed to be equal. Equal is not more than. It's not the same thing. Your rights are not being replaced. You can still be religious and, and support gay people. Those two things can't happen. I don't know anymore. It just seems weird. Just don't be a bigot. How is it so hard to not be a bigot? It's just bizarre to me. Anyway, that would be for now, folks. See ya. Oh, yeah.